Hey you, I'm Marnie. And I'm Kristen. And we are the ladies of the Ask Women podcast, where every week we give you a female perspective on what women actually want in a man. Our job is to help you better understand, appreciate, and avoid getting punched in the face by the next girl you come across. So today we're going to give you our blunt, honest female perspective on how to talk to women. The right way. There's no right thing to say, but there is a right way to say it. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, so line up 10 men and have them say the exact same successful pickup line to a woman. Do you think this woman will be attracted to all 10 men? No. Not a chance. No. No. She will be attracted to the man that said the line the right way. The right way equals being backed up by presence, intention, and character. Yeah, absolutely. So here are the three things you can do to ensure you say it the right way when talking to a woman. Okay, so here's the number one thing that guarantees you talk to women the right way is having confidence. I mean, how annoying is that statement? I mean, you hear that all the time. How do you get confidence? Yeah, and I'm sure you hate hearing that all women want is confidence in a man, but it's true, and we're going to tell you what that actually means, because most people don't do that. Confidence is an attitude that shows you have a deep comfort within yourself and an understanding of your own self-value. It's a man that doesn't easily get rattled, like if a woman starts freaking out, he's not freaking out too. A man that can laugh at himself and a man that knows his value without having to say it to your face. So no arrogant, cocky jerks. That is not a confident man. Men with this type of confidence can honestly say anything and it becomes instantly interesting because they just don't care Mm -hmm. and that's super attractive. Yeah. So the second thing that ensures that what you say to a woman is said the right way is making sure what you say is consistent with your body language. Absolutely. So for example, I'm at a bar and some guy approaches me with his shoulders hunched, no eye contact, and his hands in his pockets and says some bold pickup artist approved statement in like a meek tone, Mm -hmm. there's no way I'm going to find him attractive. No, absolutely not. I think he has a gun in his pocket (laughs) because it's inconsistent. His body language and voice tonality do not match with the words he's saying which instantly signals to me that this guy's a creep and should not be talked to or trusted. Yeah. It's the subtleties that women truly pay attention to, and when things do not line up, yeah. our guard goes up instantly. Yeah. Men whose body language is consistent with their words coming out of their mouth will always get a good response from women. Oh, it's like a blowjob or something, that's the response they'll get. <laughs> <laughs> The third thing you need to add to your conversation so that women will pay attention to you is enthusiasm. Okay, the secret to being interesting has nothing to do with topic selection. So it's not about talking about skydiving or climbing Machu Picchu. What truly makes you interesting to women is adding a little bit of enthusiasm to whatever it is you're talking about. If you're interested in what you're talking about, then it will guarantee that whatever you talk about is actually interesting. Take a bland conversation like talking about the weather, right? Everybody finds the weather boring. But if you say something like, oh, it's cold out today, that's a super boring statement. But if you look somebody in the eye and you say, oh God, you know, summer was only here for a couple of days and now we have to go back and get our winter jackets and put our jackets on. Again. Anyway, I'm going to wear eight pairs of underwear Right, today. exactly. I, it doesn't even matter what's coming out of my mouth. But that enthusiasm gets people to actually pay attention to you. And women pay attention to enthusiasm. Adding enthusiasm to any conversation will make the conversation more interesting and will help a woman get a sense of your personality. So instead, again, of saying a boring, bland statement about the weather, if you pipe it up a little bit, that's what's going to get her to turn her head around and listen to what you're saying. So to wrap things up, if you want to talk to women and get them to respond with attraction and desire to get to know you better, then you better make sure you say things with confidence, enthusiasm, and consistency. If you do these three things, we guarantee your conversation with women will never fall flat. Want more tips, advice, and insider information from us? Then just go to iTunes and download the Ask Women podcast, where each week we dive deeper into what women really want and give you tips, tools, and instructions on how to give it to them. You can also check out our other videos right here on Ask Women.